Hello everyone and you're welcome to GBFM for today's tutorial and I'm Udurule Mojibola. Today I'm going to be explaining to us how to cut this beautiful jean sneaker slide. You will see that we have the highlight, we have the lace. I'm going to be showing us how to conveniently cut this pattern without a last. Sit back and I'll be right back. Yes, our measurement is going to be 14 centimeter length by 10 centimeter width, which means that we are going to be, I'm going to be making reference to a last of size 40. So it means if you are going to be using a bigger, a, a, a bigger last, it means you're going to extend the width that you're going to be using as well as the length. But for my own, I'm going to make use of 14 centimeter by 10 centimeter. No, so I'm going to try to fold this because I need 10 centimeter this way. I just need it to be 10 centimeter. Now I have 10 centimeter. Just going to try to mark my 10 centimeter. My 10 centimeter. My 10 centimeter. So I need this to be 14 centimeter. So since it's 10 by 14, I'm just going to try to see how I can draw a rectangle. Let's see, is this 14 as well? Wow, this is 14 as well. So we have 14. So definitely we have 10 by 14, which is what we already have in this measurement. Now, let me quickly explain how we are going to create our curve without having to use a last. Now, as you can see what I have, this is just my measurement. I'm just going to measure two centimeters away from this lower part. I'm going to measure two to two and a half. I'm using two and a half for this particular side. And I'm going to just try to connect it with where the length is. You can see this is still our length, which is 14 centimeter. This is still our length is 14 centimeter. So I'm just going to connect it with this. I'm going to connect it with this particular one first. Now, as I try to do the connection, I'm going to make use of this particular circular object you can decide to use any circular object to form yours but this one that i'm using has a circumference of about eight centimeters so you can decide to work with that as well i just want to connect this side with this particular side to create what i need as you can see i'm already having the shape gradually so i'm just going to cut this out i'm getting a shape already As you can see, I'm already getting a shape for my for my Jean Snaker slide. Yeah, I'm getting a shape. So I'm going to come to this side and I'm going to make use of two centimeter for this particular side. I'm not going to make use of three centimeter. Now, don't forget, I'm just going to try to do this with regards to the size that I'm working with is a size 40. So for that particular one, I'm going to use another circular object with about 6.5 diameter so i'm just going to try to connect it with this just to connect it now this is what i have yes this is what i have i'm just going to go ahead and do that as you can see what i have now now this side is the two two centimeter and this side is the 2.5 centimeter so the 2.5 is going to be the lower part i mean the, the side that will be staying this way on my last as you can see is the side that will be slipping off this way so as you can see i'm just going to try to divide it so that we can see what it looks like as you can see what i have my jean sneaker slide is already getting completed see i have the side already if you want yours to be wider than this there's no problem you can decide to make it wider but for me you can see that even the lens i'm using is quite okay not forgetting that we are still going to have you know the tongue and now let's quickly go to how to cut the tongue before i go to the tongue i want to briefly explain to us that now by the time you finish cutting when you want to place your pattern on the jean fabric you are going to place it this way for this particular side when you want to do for the the left leg it means you definitely have to turn it this way. If you don't turn it this way, you are not going to be achieving the same shape for the two sides 
of the leg. I mean this side of this so of this last and this side of this last. You cannot you cannot cut this side and place it like this and put it here and still cut this side. If you cut this side, you definitely have turned it all around by the time it's going to get to this side. So I'm going to say that when you want to cut it, you're going to cut it for the two sides. Don't forget that this same pattern is what you're going to use for this side and this other side. The only difference is that when you finish cutting this, you are going to turn it all around to cut this other part. And that is the same thing you are going to do for the second leg as well. Now for where our eyelet is going to enter into, I'm going to suggest that you take a, you, 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 you take a measurement of about three centimeter away from this edge. Three centimeter, three centimeter, three centimeter, and let your, rib, your eyelet, which is also known as the grommet, let it be at that point. You can make it at an interval of about two, two centimeter before you put your eyelet or grommet. Now let's quickly go to the tongue of our snake jeans sneaker slide. Now the tongue is more like a T-strap. So I'm just going to make use of about 21 centimeter length. I'm going to make use of a 21 centimeter length and I'm going to make the width of the long part of it 2.5 centimeter, which is what I already have. My meter rule is about 2.5 centimeter. Now I am going to create the tongue on this particular side. How do I create the tongue? All I'm going to do is to measure about four, four centimeter or let's make use of six centimeter away. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is also six. So I am I'm making use of six from here and six from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is where I have my six. I'm just going to try to create the, the tongue this way don't forget we want the tongue it must cover the whole part now see what i have you can decide to make it look like a t or you create a curve on this side if you so much want it to have a curve shape so i'm just going to do the same thing here for our jane sneaker slide you can see how it looks like so i'm just going to cut it out now now for the length because i'm using a size 40 last i need my tongue to have a length of 11 centimeter which means from here to here is going to be 11 centimeters so it means i'm going to coordinate that and make it 11 centimeter which means all i need is supposed to just be here now i'm just going to try to and see what i have so you can decide to make it bulge out create a design if you want it to have a kind of design on this side just try to create that and if you want it to just be this way you can also leave it like that it depends on the way you really want it to be so we can decide to just leave it this way you can decide to just leave it this way don't forget we're always close together to get the second part of our song but yeah so you can see what i'm going to be having now you can see what i have now we are still going to trim out this upper part don't forget is a gene snaker slide you can see what i have i'm just going to place this this way and i'm going to bring in this don't forget it's going to be on top and this is also going to be on top this way you will just be surprised what we have just like we have here that is what our final product is going to look like so make sure you lay your hands on this and let me hear what your comments are thank you so much for watching to this tutorial see you next time bye